हेलो एवरीवन आई एम अजय वेलकम टू इनफिडियो के ट्रेनिंग में ऑनलाइन लर्निंग टुडे वी आर टू डिस्कस डीपीएमएस रिलेटेड को एमसीक्यूज व्हिच केम इन प्रीवियस इनफिडियो के एग्जामिनेशन कम टू फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन देयर आर टू टेबल्स गिवन वन इज प्रोजेक्ट टेबल एंड एलोकेशन टेबल ओके एंड दिस इज कोई गिवन एंड वी नीड टू फाइंड हाउ मेनी रोस विल बी फेचड हाउ मेनी रोस विल बी फेचड व्हेन द एबोक क्वेरी इज एग्जीक्यूटेड सो वी नीड टू So we we need to execute this query. I mean, we need to to execute this this query. query. I mean, trace out and how many number of rows we are get that number that we need to check this from the option. So for the query, select p dot project ID, p dot project name, and project p. So from the project, we are selecting project ID, name and name, employee ID, and the employee ID is being uh, selected from allocation. From the allocation, we are selecting employee ID. From the project, we are selecting project ID and project name. Let's return project name from the location we are selecting employee ID. Okay, and we are doing full join. Full join means irrespective of like uh, even if uh, the left side or the right side, if left side data is not there, it will become null, and right side become uh, data is not there, then it will become null. But uh, the complete join operation will takes place. Um, and also there is a condition that on p dot project ID equal to dot project ID means. This project ID should be equal to this project ID, okay. And a dot project ID is not null, okay. So by considering this not null, uh, there is no um, need to trace out the complete uh, query here, as the dimension not null, and the full join will generate null if there is no data. And we here we have three data, and here there are four data, so definitely three data rows will be generated and rest all. Might be there, might be null at this time, this part, or might be there, be null at this side. So there will be only three rows that will be generated completely. So I can say, so because of not null, like I can directly say option C is the correct answer for this. Come to the next question. Oh yeah, this is a MongoDB uh, question. Yes, uh, you need to have a little bit uh, basics about MongoDB queries like insertion, updation, uh, remove, uh, all the all such things. to uh, item the this round so come into this we have a database fruit and uh, we are inserting data id fruit name season price mm, data uh, mongodb is a no uh, no sql way means it stores in no uh, no sql way means it stores in a key and value pair you can also id colon value fruit name colon value season colon value in that way it will store the the complete data and this is called as collection in sql we call it as table in no sql we call it as collections so we have uh, one data this is second third fourth so we have total six six data presently mm, yeah six so again after this six insertion had been done uh, update function is used update or or means there will be a list yeah the list kind of thing and whatever condition whether this condition satisfied or this condition satisfied like uh, whether fruit name is watermelon or price name is price is 40 then we need to set the price as 35 which means first let's check the fruit name fruit name is water watermelon so yeah this is one and uh, one more watermelon no there is no watermelon come to price In, yeah, this and this. So um, I can say this and this are the two equations where this uh, this update function will work, and it will set the price as thirty five. So price will uh, from forty to change to thirty five, and here also from forty to change to thirty five. Yeah, this is done. Now uh, this update function is done. Next, db dot fruit dot update ID of four zero three. Ready at four zero three. Set the price as twenty five. The previous it was thirty five, and again this is updated to twenty five. The price is twenty five now. DB dot fruit dot update five zero six. Okay, five zero six. Season winter. You can see there is no set here. There is no set here. There is just season winter. By uh, writing the query like this, what it will learn is the it will maintain the ID five zero six. It will make the other values as null, and it will take the 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 data whatever been passed here that is we pass season winter or X Y Z call colon winter then the data previously which was like ID colon something fruit name colon something season 
colon sum, uh, somewhere this complete data will be uh, replaced because we are not using the set uh, attribute here so id will be 506 the complete data will be null here and only this data will be available that is season so it will be season winter there will be no price there will be no uh, fruit name everything only season and id will be there for 506 so we can simply cut out this yeah this this this, this. when price is yeah now the last db dot fruit dot remove price uh gt means greater than here or means or that is watermelon or 40 it means greater than so remove the uh, fruit collection remove uh, the data from the fruit collection where the price is greater than 40 so only price is greater than 40 is for the id 501 that is price 45 so this data is removed now so previously it was 6 so we just have 5 data left and the right side values are the updated price values here done so let's analyze this uh, in such questions we can you can see there is a multiple answer question which means there is uh, there are more than one answer correct from the above from the below four uh, options first option three fruits will have price as 25 okay one two three yes 503 504 505 has a prior three fruits so that has price 25 so it's correct the fruit collection will have four winter seasons mm, winter 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 and um, oh this is also winter right we updated this to winter yeah so winter 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 yes four winters are there done okay two fruits will have prices 35 one is here and this is the place where everyone will get confused because they will think that price is 35 still the, the price 35 still there but as i said before there is no set attribute mentioned here in update function so this becomes null so this 35 will not be available there will be only one 35 price so there are no two fruits so this is option is wrong two fruits will have a name ending with melon name ending with melon one yeah just one and here also there is a name ending with melon but this became null because of this uh, update function the same reason huh? yes, so for the second question a and b are the correct answers yeah coming to the next question store sales okay two questions are given which are the best uh, primary key for the sales table from the following desc okay if you take the desc yeah biscuit shampoo no there are uh, like duplicate data present in this uh, column so we cannot select this as a primary key product id mm, p2j4 okay mm, and uh, store id 1 2 3 4 5 6 yes 1 4 2 3 4 1 here again there is a duplicate for the store id 1 and 1 and uh, if we take product comma store id product comma store id 5204 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, okay for the sales table let's say right yeah so product com product id comes to the primary key for the sales table come to the next question